Hey everyone, um, I wanted to make this video because I find that when trying to learn about multiple spanning tree, um, there's not a lot of great resources that don't make you feel overwhelmed. And what I mean is that, you know, when you first start reading about multiple spanning tree, sure they'll go over what the benefits are, but then you're quickly going to be jumping into, you know, multiple regions. They're talking about the IST, a CST, you know, um, what happens with backwards compatibility, like all these things. And it seems very confusing, but it's really not that bad, especially for, you know, a basic configuration. So this video, we're going to go over uh, this network here, which is just four switches. And they're all interlinked, uh, multiple links connecting to every single switch. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at... Um, the current spanning tree configuration and see how we could use multiple spanning tree to make it better and i'll show you that it's really not that difficult to configure and it and it, it definitely makes a little bit more sense so we're gonna hop down to the switches and you could see that we have a bunch of vlans on all these switches now if we do show spanning tree we'll see we have VLAN 1, VLAN 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have a ton of different, um, tons of different spanning tree instances. And in reality, it doesn't make sense for us to have 50 different spanning tree in instances because on my network here, what I'll do is let's pretend that we have um, two routers and it's basically one of them is off switch one here and one of them is off switch two here so in reality it makes sense for switch one to be a root so we'll say like root one and then it makes sense for switch two to be a root that means we only really need two instances of spanning tree and even at the most let's say we had routers here and here well then that means at the most we would want four instances we still don't need 50 different instances so this is what the multiple spanning tree is going to do now in our case i'm going to go ahead and just configure it like this where we have two different routes and we'll see you know we'll check the configuration out so let's jump back on the boxes and the first thing you do actually is you don't configure you know when you're switching from pervy land spanning tree to rapid spanning tree you would come on a switch and you would say spanning tree um mode and then you could see MST, PVST, and Rapid. We're not going to turn on MST yet. I mean, we could, but we don't actually have anything configured. So what I want to do is let's create a configuration and put it on all the switches, and then I'll start enabling it. So on switch one, what we're going to do is we're going to do spanning tree, MST configuration. Now this drops us into spanning tree, or sorry, MST configuration mode. Now all the changes we make in here won't actually take effect until we put the switch into MST mode. So what are we going to do? Well, all the switches need to agree on three things in order to be considered in the same region. Um, the first thing they need to agree on is, actually let me... Let me do this so I can show you the commands. The first thing they need to all agree on is they all have to have a name. So we're going to have to configure, configure, or we're going to have to configure a name for the MST. The next thing they have to agree on is the revision number. Um, this is something we'll probably will want to increment every time we make a change, and then we'll have to increment them on all the switches. The third thing is. It's actually the VLAN to instance mappings, but you can see here map VLANs to an instance. So we'll have to set the instances. So let me get rid of that. And let's go ahead and configure those three things. So we'll do name, we'll just call it CCIE lab. And then the revision number we'll say is one. It's our first revision. And now we can start doing our instances. So what are instances? Well, like we see before, currently we have like 50 different instances. 
let's just say we only want to have um, two. So there's always going to be instant zero that exists. I'm not going to get into the theory of that yet because I, I don't want to, again, I don't want to overwhelm. I just want to show how easy the configuration is. But let's take a look at our current VLANs. And actually, I could just change to another switch. We have a bunch from five, you know, 10 through 20, and then 100 here. Why don't we set instance one to cover VLANs one through 20, and then anything up to 100, and then 100, and we have 205. So let's say we'll split it and we'll go from 100 to 250, just because that's what, what you know we need in our network. So it's simple. You go instance one, and then you set your VLAN range. And this is, you know, nothing new. We'll, we'll go from one to um, 99 will be instance one. Then we'll do an instance two, and we'll say it's 100 to 250. All right. And that's it. Now, what we could do is we could do show... Well, we can do show current or show pending, but we'll do a show pending. And this is what our pending MST configuration is. Now, there's really nothing else we need to do. If we hit abort, we could exit the configuration mode of boarding changes. But if we say exit, it exits the, re the configuration mode and it applies the changes. So let's go ahead and exit and end. Now, we could do a show spanning tree MST configuration and we see our config. But what we also see is that the switch is not in MST mode. So even though we did that configuration, we still haven't made any, any changes yet. So if we did show spanning tree, we're still gonna get all of our different instances. But this is great because now we can go over to the rest of the switches and we can make those same changes. So again, it's not complicated. Spanning tree MST configuration. We're gonna say name is CCIE lab. We're gonna say the revision number is one. And then we'll do our instance map, instance mappings. Instance two VLAN um, 100 to 250. Exit, end. All right, so then we do show spanning tree MST configuration. And we can see we have our same things, which will line up. So what we can do now is I'm gonna go ahead and quickly make the same things. What I'll do is this will make it easier. Show run section spanning tree. Um, oh, the switch doesn't support section. All right, so show run. Well, what I'll do is I'll just quickly pause the video and configure it on the other two switches so you don't need to watch it all over again. All right, so it saved a little bit of time there. We could see now we have 1 through 99 is instance 1 here. Same as we click through, it should all look identical. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make the change. Now, one thing I can do is, well, I'll make the change first. We'll do mode and you know what? I'm gonna do it on all the switches at the same time. So let's do spanning tree mode MS. I have to go into configuration mode, spanning tree mode MST. And now the switches will have to reconverge so this is probably not a change you're gonna to wanna to do in production. Um, if you have to do it in production, in production, you would start at your root switch and go outwards. Uh, this is due to the way the backwards compatibility works. But as you can see, the change has completed. So let's do a show spanning tree and let's see what we have. So now you can see the output is much, much smaller. We have three instances. Um, it's because we have instance zero, which is there by default. And then we have one and two. And all the other switches are now the same. We've reconverged. And the reconversion is quick um, because it does do 
rapid spanning tree. So now that that's done, let's take a look at an individual VLAN. So show spanning tree um, MST. And you'll notice if you do this, um, sorry, uh, show spanning tree MST, sorry, word, uh, it was CCIE lab. Um, oh, instance one. Sorry, we can take a look at instance one. So you see that we don't do VLANs, we do instances now when we're taking a look. And you can see the VLANs map to the instance. So this is MST01, VLAN 1 through 99. We can see the priority, we see the root priority. Um, we can see that we're actually not the root bridge. Um, but, you know, you see all the normal stuff you see. It's just we're using MST now. So how do we how do we do this? Let's let's make switch one a root for instance one, and then make switch two a root for instance two. And it's actually quite simple. It's the same thing we already know how to do: spanning tree, MST, and again you see we go instance one, and now we have a lot of the same commands we had before. So we'll just do a priority zero for this one. And then for switch two, uh, I'm sorry, MST two priority zero. And the thing we could do as well, actually, to make it even uh, a little bit more resilient, is let's do MST one. We're going to change you to a priority of forty ninety six. Forty ninety six. So you're the backup route for priority or for MST one and for MST two, we're going to do, um, Okay. So now show spanning tree MST one. The root is this switch for MST one show spanning tree MST two. This is the root switch for MSD2. And there we go. And now we can add as many VLANs as we want within these ranges. Um, so I have VTP running, but let's do a show VLAN brief. You know, let's add, um, let's do VLANs 30 through 40, and then VLANs 210 through 220. You know, we're adding a bunch of VLANs. And if we do show spanning tree MST, um, we could see again, we still just have our three instances. So it's honestly not that much different than what you're used to doing with your current spanning tree, especially if you want to have them all in one region. Now, if you want to have them in more than one region, things do tend to get or things do get a little bit more complicated. But for a single reason MST, the configuration is quite simple. Um, we, we have all the other spanning tree, you know, things and features that were available to us before. Um, so this is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them below. Uh, maybe on the next video, I'll do, um, you know, a multi-region spanning tree or MST. So thanks for watching.